Okay, hello. I'm going to help you figure this out by uh, stating the question, what's the value of tan theta? What is the value of tan theta if cosine theta equals negative one-third and theta is in quadrant three? So a nice way of doing this is to just draw a generic graph, uh-oh, like this. And we know if cosine theta is in quadrant three, uh, this is quadrant three here, so I could label this as my triangle. Sorry for the, you get the idea though, it doesn't have to be exact. <clears throat> All right, and if cosine is negative one over three, cosine is the adjacent, adjacent over the hypotenuse. Okay, so adjacent, that means uh, negative 1 would be here. And uh, the hypotenuse then is going to be 3. And it looks like what we have to figure out is what is this point here? What is y going to be? Or uh, the, uh, the opposite. All right, so that means I'm going to have this little equation to figure out what this x would be. I'll call it x. And so that's going to give me, that means I'm going to have uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared using the Pythagorean theorem. So we know that c squared equals Uh, 9, we know that ahead of time, and then here I could call a to be negative 1 squared, and b would be x. So I could look at it this way and call that uh, x squared. And let's figure that out then. All right, so I've got uh, uh, 1 plus x squared equals 9. Uh, let's subtract 1 from both sides. And now it looks like I'm going to have x squared that equals 8. And if I take the square root of both sides, then I've got that x is going to equal plus or minus the square root of 8. And that's what x is going to be here. So I'm going to erase that now, that x. And I'm going to write here that it is negative square root of 8. It's below the x-axis, so it's a negative number. All right, now that we have our three sides figured out in quadrant 3, what is the tangent of theta? And then the tangent, we know theta is here, so it's going to be the opposite over the adjacent. And then, so if tangent equals the opposite over the adjacent, then I'm going to have that it's my answer, which is going to be uh, opposite is negative square root of 8 over the square root. I'm sorry, the uh, negative 1 over the adjacent. And so this ends up equaling that the tangent of theta is the square root of 8, which would be positive, which falls in line with tangent is positive in quadrant 3, using the all students take, take calculus little monomic device to help you remember uh, where it's positive. Okay, so I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any other questions, you can let me know. Or if you're on the, if you have them posted on the Ask an Expert, then please do so. Okay, thank you, take care.